Hey, Patty fam. We're back with another video. We're doing Brooklyn Frost, Dear Mom. Let's get into it. How's your girl, Brooklyn? I'm back with another video. Excuse the lighting. It's no lighting. You know, it's, I'm in the car. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm in the car, but I just wanted to make this video. Oh, look. look, look. It was fun. The burrito stop. I just wanted to make this video to kind of like just say how I feel, you know. Um, as y'all know, my mom just recently kicked me out, and I went with back with Justin. Um, and it's actually been very good. Very, like I said, it's always peace by Justin's house. Oh, it's always good at Justin's house. You know, so. You send here, babe. Huh? You send here. Mm -hmm. Babe. Yeah. Can What's you get Can you get some um nail cutters? Nail clippers. Mm -hmm. All right. Please don't forget. I'm not. Sorry, y'all. But you know, as y'all recently know, yeah, my mom picked me out. I've been at Justin's. Peaceful, no drama, no nothing. Mike just called me, telling me to come home. My mom's depressed. She's not eating. You know, all these things. And don't get me wrong, she's my mom. I love her. I don't want that. I don't want her, like, feeling like that, you know. But I came back to the house to make things better. Then she just humiliated me on Instagram, I mean, on YouTube channel. I don't do this. I don't clean my bathroom. First of all, that's a lie. My bathroom is not my bathroom. My bathroom is the guest bathroom. Everybody use my bathroom. So it's like... Like, people will come over, and I will have to clean my bathroom because people will leave, like... Somebody, like... Somebody. First of all, I don't want to cut her off, but I just want to, you know, first of all, say, you know, definitely pray for the Frost family. Pray for Brooklyn. Pray for Deshay. Pray for uh, Mom Monique and, uh, you know, all of them because they're really going through some stuff now. So y'all are definitely in my prayers. And I really, you know, A, I really like this family, you know, but B, also, you know, you kind of hate to see. You know, and it's part of growing up. It's part of, you know, finding your independence and people kind of recognizing that you're a grown woman almost, you know. Um, so I get that. And she's a very strong person and I admire that about her. But, you know, at the same time, it's like, you know, the mom has to adjust to her independence and her brother has to adjust to her independence. And, you know, you want to be true to yourself but not hurt other people, you know. So it's, it's that, that tug, you know of um what i want and you know what i can do to to make sure that everybody's still okay but to her point about the guest bathroom you know i <laughs> it's it's really hard to guest bathroom especially if that's supposed to be your bathroom you know and so at least now she's gonna have you know just just her and justin in the bathroom versus you know because guests, they have a lot of people over their house. And I, I know that a lot of people do have that. But for me, that's a lot. They have tons and tons of, uh, you know, visitors, the Sunday brunch things. And so, because I can only imagine trying to keep that bathroom clean if you got everybody using it all the time, you know. And, you know, ideally, yeah, you should clean every day. But she's busy, too. You know, she got businesses. She's blogging. She's doing all this stuff. She's on the go, you know. So maybe if it's the guest bathroom, she shouldn't be the only one responsible for cleaning it. But that's just my thing. I don't know. She her, she the mom. She made the rules in our house. So I respect that too. You know. So if she told her to do it, she got to do it. But if you don't like her rules, you get out. So that's what she did. I don't know. I can't call it. Uh. All right. Back to it. So like it was hell like tissue, not tissue paper towels on my floor. Cause the the trash was full, so I was like, whoever, you know, like, like take out the trash. You know, I don't like cleaning up after people, so take out the trash. And 
with the whole food situation, I literally was, I literally just got done eating my food. When I tell you I was heck of full, and I was sharing it. Sorry, I'm my eyelash. And I was sharing it. So it was still food there, though. But I get it. Like, me personally, I know when your mom tells you to do something, you're supposed to do it. But I don't like doing dishes. Yeah. I don't know why. Like, every time I do dishes, I don't know. Mm. Especially with her nails, though. You know, because you just got your nails done. And goodness gracious knows that. You know, when you get your nails done, yo, that dishes, something about washing them, especially as long as hers are, you know, it's going to come off on the seat. It's going to loosen the glue. You know, you just going to have to get them redone if you're getting them redone every day, you know? And so, like, with me, I don't do my nails at all because it's, it's just habit going your nails. I just don't like it. I just clean, I just clean my dish after I use a dish. But back to that guy, he called me saying my mom's depressed and everything like that. But it's like you kick me out, you know, and then you do that those things. So it's like, yeah. Here's the thing too, you know, and you know, YouTube's great and everybody loves it, and, and you know. But I think sometimes, you know, to me that should have been maybe a personal call, you know, on the mom's part. Where, you know, if you got something to say to Brooklyn, don't tell us, you know, everything about her. Because I think, you know, even though, you know, she's grown her channel, Monique's done well with her channel too. But I think that, you know, I think it's, even as myself, you know, being my closer to Monique's age, I would say that we don't really understand the power of social media and how it affects 18 year olds, 20 year olds, you know. So it's like, okay, I put a video on here because I want to get her attention, right? I want to let her know that this ain't right and I want to have people agree with me that she should be doing something different. That's her age. Got it. The thing is, is that there's so many people on YouTube and social media that really just dog these kids out, you know? And it's, so it's like, it goes way beyond. So now she got reputation that, you know, she's dirty. She don't clean up behind herself and stuff like that. And that... Of course, it was not her mom's intention, but, you know, now she has to come back and make a video about, yeah, this is what happened, you know? So it's like, you know, if it had been a personal conversation, phone call, text, you know, we could have nipped it in the bud versus it being like, now it's this big, huge thing. And like, you know, she already had the stuff that just happened recently with her boyfriend, you know? So it's like adding more stress to Brooklyn, you know? And it, and that makes her be like, okay, now I've been publicly embarrassed, so now I don't want to come home. Where if it had been an A and B conversation, you know, y'all could have worked it out, I think. That's just me. Y'all let me know. It hurt. It, it hurt me. It hurt me. Honestly, truly. And I don't want to be bitter. I don't want to sound bitter. I don't want to look bitter. I don't want to be bitter in general, but it's like... You won't be back after you kicked me out when we could have literally talked about the situation. You know? Exactly. And, and here's the thing, too, is that, you know, that's her last child at home. You know, um, the, the other one, the middle kid, he's over there. He's out of the, the state. Deshay got his own place. He's doing his own thing. He just about turned 21. And, you know, now she's the baby. Well, oh, she was the baby before Bali, so let me correct that. So she got another baby at home, but technically, she the baby that she can talk to, relate to, interact with. Because, you know, Bali's still trying to grow up. But, you know, if you need your kid at home, you know, give her, give her a little bit of room. I mean, if we would have talked about the situation, it would have been way better. Like, like I keep saying, it's her approach with things, like... mom it's hard to change your approach as your child changes you know so i'm sure maybe her approach has been the same for these 18 years you know and so now it's like okay now you don't 
you don't react well to that approach because you know you have options. And now I have to change my approach, or at least, you know, respect you as an adult, maybe phrase it differently, you know, that kind of thing. Because now she got a place to go, you know? So it's a complicated situation from both sides. And like I said, I wish them both the best. And I know they're really close and I, I'm praying that they make up soon. You know, because they definitely both need each other, you know? It's hard being a young woman. You definitely need your mom. I can't. But it's literally... It's her approach with things, you know? So it's like... But then she wants things to go her way. You know? And I... I I just, I don't know, like, I'm getting older, like, I just, I can't, I don't, I don't want to play these games anymore. Like, you know, I'm thinking about getting my own place, you know, just so I can be independent, you know, but I don't know. And like I'm saying, like, she's, she's doing really well with herself now, so she literally can get her own place and be very comfortable in doing so, you know? Honestly, I'm just kind of over that. Like, I'm over over there. All the drama, all the disrespect. You know, so it's like, I don't want to come back. I do not want to come back. As of right now, I do not want to come back. Maybe in the future, when like things get better, we all have a conversation, a mature conversation. I'll think about not coming back, but just, you know, being over there more. You know? Because I do want to be independent. I really do. I want to be on my own, not even living with Justin. You know, I love living with Justin, but like I said, I'm thinking about getting my own place, but... Yeah. As of right now, I just don't want nothing to do with them. I don't want anything to do with them. I'm fed up uh, with everything that's been going on. It's just draining. It's tiring. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Oh, this one's my. Well, I'm so tired. It's like. Then the shade comes over. I haven't talked to him in a month. And he thinks it's okay just bang on Justin's door and try to come get me. No. Uh-uh. Yeah. And see, that's what I'm talking about, like the roles changing. You know, because Deshae's a big brother. You know, I'm sure he's heard from his mom or, or maybe he watched her video or heard whatever. And so he's trying to help the situation. But previously in his role as being an older sibling, you know, he was like, uh, he was given like, you know, more big brother advice where, you know, if big brother says do something, you do it, right? So it's mom, it's big brother. And then, you know, she had to kind of find her way in between those. And now that's changed, you know? And so, A, you know, of course, you can't go to nobody else's house, even if it's your sister's boyfriend. <laughs> Bamming on the door, trying to get in, trying to demand stuff at somebody else's house. That's not okay. But B, you know, his roles changed. So he's thinking that his influence, you know, is different. But like she said, it's been a month since y'all talked. So it's like, A, I already got problems with you. And now B, you creating a problem. And C, you know, it's it's an A and B between me and mom. So, you know, she has free will. She, you know, don't want to come back and she didn't. So, like I said, it's it's going to resolve itself because I think they're, they're all so close. They have such good history, um, you know, with each other. It's just they need time and space and maybe a redefinition of roles and, 
you know, well, at least to appreciate and respect her um, as an adult, you know. Sorry. The way they're doing things, ow. The way they're doing things, I don't like it. Oh. Thank you very much for it. But I'm still stuck on the fact that I haven't talked to Deshae in a month. And he thinks I'm going to go with him. He thinks I'm going to go with him to his house because he wants to come and get me. No, I'm sorry. No, that's not how things work. And that's not how it's going to work at all. So, as of right now, I'm not messing with them. I'm not messing with my mom, my brother. Mike is cool, you know. But as, as of right now, I just, I, I can't. I can't. All right. So like, comment, subscribe, share if you care, click the bell and become part of the Noto Squad.